In this problem, we want to simplify the square root of negative 121. So to do this, the first thing we have to deal with is this negative in the square root. This is automatically going to become an i. So whenever you have a negative in the root, it becomes an i. And then we're left with the square root of 121. Now, the square root of 121 is 11. So this is equal to i times 11. But nobody really leaves their answer like this. People usually write the i at the end. So let's go ahead and write this as 11 times i. Now, there's a faster way to do this. Instead of showing all of this work, you can basically look at this and say, OK, whenever there's a negative in the square root, you know you're going to have an i always. And then the square root of 121 is 11. So this is 11i. So again, you just look at it. You say, oh, there's going to be an i because the negative, the square root of 121 is 11. So this is 11i. And that's the answer. This is much faster than doing it this way, which takes a lot more time. So eventually, you want to just be able to look at it and do it. Good luck.